Is this ube ice cream? Is this ube? Yes? Wow. This is really good, guys. Say hi, Aji. Say hi. Hi. Right? She's so I'm amazing. She's the owner. <laughs> She's the owner. You're doing a great job. Thank I love you. the food. Yo, what's up guys, your boy Kels, and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, it's 96 degrees out here, and it's blazing hot. But that's not gonna stop us from going to another food adventure. So if you guys are ready for that, you know I am, let's do it. Alright guys, we made it here to Chicken Bus, which is a Korean fried chicken place that's serving them some bomb street food, man. So if you guys are ready for that, let's go in there and find out what they have. Let's do it. I'm gonna have the tornado, the mozzarella bomb, and I'm gonna have the rice bubble sausage. All right, guys, we got a food here at Chick for Us, and everything looks litty right now. Kim hooked us up, she went in the kitchen, whipped up some really good dishes for us really quickly. The surface is already bomb. I can't wait to try this, guys. Let's take a look at what we got. All right, first things first, let's start with the pornado. The pornado is one of those twisty potato things, which I'm sure you've probably seen before. This smells litty right here. Next, we have the rice bubble and sausage, which looks amazing. I never had something like this before, but it looks like rice cakes there, then has some sausage in the middle. Then we have the mozzarella balls. They look so crispy and chewy mozzarella on the inside. Man, what else do I need to say about these here? Some of the famous chicken here. Uh, this one here is the original, and I believe this one is the garlic chicken. So, you already know. Let's go ahead and start with the rice bubble sausage and see what this is for, guys. Look at this thing, guys. Oh my gosh. The first thing <coughs> is a little kick from the sauce. I'm not sure what kind of sauce is on there, but I like it. Nice and sweet, has a little spice to it too. Really good. The rice cake, not too chewy. Has a little crunch to it, kind of like, like potato-y. Let's try the sauces. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So the sauce is really nicely cooked. I like the consistency and the texture of on the outside and then the juiciness and it has a little snap to it too when you bite into it. You gotta hide that when you're eating sausage, guys. Yo, this is fire. Actions. Jackson. Let's cleanse our palate a little bit. It's a great drink. Mmm. This is fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, it has real grapes in it. This is amazing, yo. This is litty. Let's jump to the mozzarella bomb next. Let's get it. Yo, the first thing you taste is the crispiness of the bready crunchiness from the outside. It has like a little sweet taste to it, which is amazing, guys. The mozzarella cheese is very complimentary, very crispy, very light, flaky. I'm loving this right here, guys. This is fire. Gotta go with the tornado. Look at this thing, man. Look at how well seasoned and crispy that thing looks. Man. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Yeah. I've had a lot of potato on sticks before. And I'm gonna be honest with you, they typically all taste the same. But this one here is different, yo. The seasoning is the first thing you taste. The seasoning is just right. Not too salty, has some flavor to it, and it's not just salt, if you feel what I'm saying. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll be telling y'all, if it ain't got that crunch, it ain't got that punch. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about. The crispiness on the outside. All right, guys, you know we saved the best for last. That is the Korean fried chicken. Mm. So the one with the spices and peppers on it is the garlic fried chicken, and the other one's the original fried chicken. Mm. 
I like this. And when you take your first bite, you get an initial taste of like sweetness, but then other things start to play in. The crunchiness, the juiciness of the chicken on the inside, and I feel like a little bit of warmth starting to heat up. But this is really good, guys. The garlic fried chicken one now. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. spicy. Hold on now. The garlic fried chicken, full of flavor. It has the spices and the peppers that add that nice kick to it. This is a must have here, guys. So scale of one to five, five being the best we've ever had, one being not so great. We're gonna give this here a 4.6. I really like this here. I'm gonna give this one here a 4.7. This is Liddy. This is probably one of the better ones I've ever had before. 4.7 as well. Really good. And the original one, I'm gonna give that 4.75. Scale of 1 to 5 for the garlic chicken, guys, a 4.65. Really good, for sure. Alright, guys, food was so amazing here, man. I'm gonna go to the next spot. So let's wrap this up. I'll see you guys there. Here we go. Alright guys, we made it to Coffee Center right there behind us. It's a popular Filipino spot down here in the Lower East Side. Let's go in there and see what they have. Let's do it. Alright guys, we got a food from Coffee Center. I can't wait to jump into this right here, man. Let me show you what I got. The longanista quesadilla. Man, so longanese guys is pretty much like a sausage. I love longanese, man. It tastes so good. It's packed with flavor. And I think on the inside here, they put uh, scrambled eggs and they also put cheese on there too, man. A little bit different than what you're used to having, but I'm always down for the challenge, guys. Let's dig into this thing right here because it smells litty. Boom. Look at how well that thing is cooked on the outside. Nice and crispy. Wow, it's different. I like it. I love how savory it tastes when you first bite into it. This is amazing, guys. Mmm. Mmm. The quesadilla, nice and flaky on the outside. It's like buttery, soft. It has a little bit of sweetness to it, too. This is fire. Mmm-hmm. Let's go ahead and rate it up before we finish it. So on a scale of one to five, guys, five being the best we've ever had, one being not so great, we're gonna give this longanista quesadilla from Cabe Seda. A 4.4, guys. Definitely come through and try this out, man. What we're about to try right now is something I never had also, which is the hollow hollow. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this online. I've seen this in the streets. I've seen people try this. I never had a chance to try it, but now we're gonna do it, man. It's the purple stuff. Wow. That's really good. <laughs> what is that? I always seen the purple stuff. It's like ube ice cream. I'm not sure. Is this ube ice cream? Is this ube? Yes. Wow. This is really good, guys. Say hi, OG. Say hi. Hi. Right. She's so I'm amazing. The owner. She's the owner. She's doing a great job. Thank I love you. the food. Thank I appreciate you. the customer service. No, thank you. Everything. Yeah. 100%. Enjoy the halo halo. Yeah, it's so good. It's so everything good. is homemade. Homemade. I made everything. Wow. The ube ice cream. Yeah. To die for. Thank you. Because that is not just um, powder or extra. That's the real ube. It's the real ube? That's why it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank Marie. you. Right. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sweet. Mm. It's one of a kind. I can't say I've ever had it before. So this is definitely a must try here in the city, guys. All right, let's taste all the other elements of it. The green thing. Let's see what the green thing is. Very reminiscent of like a jelly bean, like a soft jelly bean. I like the flavor. It works. What else we got? Beans, I guess. Let's try these. I never thought it would work well with this, but it really does, actually, guys. Let's try the jelly stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. This stuff doesn't have much flavor to it, but it's not bad. Mm. And this thing lives up to the hype, guys. Like I said, it's 95 degrees out here today. It's blazing hot. And this right here, it's cooling me off, man. My first time ever trying it. And it was a success. I'm gonna give this a 4.7, guys. Really good. So many different elements to it. I had no idea what they were, but they work well together. And I'm glad I came through to try it, guys. The food was litty here. It's hot out here. We sweating, we melting. Let's wrap this up and head to the next spot. Try to cool down a little bit more. Let's do it. Hi 
right, guys, we made it to our churro right there behind us. Let's go in and get some fire churros. I'm so ready. Let's do it. Alright guys, we got our churros from Ochoro. They smell amazing right here, yo. And you know we gotta get the dip with it. We got the vegan chocolate dip. Vegan chocolate say it's just against regular chocolate, so sometimes we gotta indulge guys, go a little bit healthier. How big they are, man. Crunch back is out of this world. The vegan chocolate is so rich and smoothie. It's been chocolatey. Now, Chota is actually a new spot. They only been open for like two weeks. I asked Shorty, I'm like, yo, how long you been open for? Because I'm always down here and I never seen y'all. And she was like, two weeks. Mm. The Choro, El Choro, with the vegan chocolate dip. 4.5 guys. It doesn't have the major doughy consistency on the inside. They give you that extra little white crunch down on it. You know what I'm saying? But it's really good. I uh, like that it's fresh. The sugar's hitting on it. And the vegan chocolate sets it off, man. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this thing up and I'll see you guys in a second. You already know. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up for episode for today. We came out here in the city, had some bomb much hot food once again, man. I appreciate you guys for taking the journey with me today. It was blazing hot, but we definitely survived, guys. I'm about to go home and cool down right now, man. But yo, to our next food adventure, man, it's your boy Kells. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous. Yeah.